This next movement is called the diagonal arch and curl. And this movement addresses the muscles in the front of the body along the diagonals. So if you've explored the back lift, this is a great sister movement to the back lift that addresses the muscles in the front of the body. So start with lying on your back with your legs bent and feet in front of your hips and bring your right hand behind your head for support. And begin by releasing the back first, taking in a nice deep breath, inhale and arch. Just enough for your brain to feel those back muscles. Take your time to release your back slowly. And once your back comes to neutral, take a regular breath in. And as you exhale, gently fold that right elbow in, tuck your chin down and curl up, pointing towards the left knee. Notice what you feel in the front from that right shoulder to the left hip. Notice the shortening in the front and the lengthening in the back, all the way up through to your right shoulder blade. And now slowly and mindfully begin lowering, releasing your abdominals, keeping your elbow pointed toward the ceiling until your head makes contact with the mat. And once your head makes contact, take your time to lower the elbow and completely relax. And now on this next one, as you inhale and arch, let's take this along the diagonal in the back. So inhale, press that left hip down and feel the diagonal contraction in your back and follow it all the way up to the right shoulder blade. Relax your neck and let your head roll towards that right shoulder. Bring your awareness to your back muscles. Bring your awareness to that diagonal contraction. Slowly and mindfully release. Lengthen and float your back to center. And once your back comes to center, take a regular breath in. And as you exhale, gently fold that elbow Tuck your chin down, curl on up. And now let's add the lower body and bring the left knee towards the right elbow. And allow your brain to sense and feel this shortening in the front and lengthening in the back. How much does your back lengthen to allow for the shortening in the front along the diagonal? Notice your glutes, notice your hamstring, your lower back all the way up to the shoulder blade. And now take your time to lower your head and foot, bringing your awareness to the front. Notice the lengthening in the lower abdominals in the rib cage as your head makes contact with the floor. Take your time to lower the elbow and let go of the work. And let's do this one more time. Inhale and arch, gently pressing the left hip down and the right shoulder blade. Relax the neck, let the head roll towards the right shoulder. Notice what you feel in the front of your body. Notice your lower abdominals lengthening. Notice your rib cage on the right side. Notice the, your right chest and in front of your right shoulder and now take your time bring your awareness to your back again take your time to release those back muscles along the diagonal come back to center allow your brain to sense neutral spine take a regular breath in and as you exhale gently fold that right elbow up tuck your chin down look past the left knee Bring that left knee in towards the right elbow. 
and see if you can relax that left shoulder, that left hand, left arm. Focus on the contraction along the diagonal in the front and the lengthening in the back. Now slowly lower your head and foot. See if you can time the two. Notice what your abdominals are doing, your rib cage, your chest. Once your head makes contact with the floor, take your time to lower the elbow. Notice what your right chest is doing, what the right shoulder is doing. Notice what you feel in and around the joint. And once your elbow comes to rest, let go of the work. And you can relax that right arm down. Take a moment to sense and feel. Notice that right shoulder. Notice the left hip. Notice that diagonal that you just released those muscles in the back along. And then go ahead and do this same thing on the left side. 